Erling Haaland. Greetings and salutations everyone, I'm Garage Repaint and I'm an artist from Singapore. Today I will be showing you my flawless technique. Oh no! <coughs> I mean uh I'm I'll be showing you my process on making this figure. Do stay around for the video as I'll be showing you my tips and processes on making this figure. So if you're ready, let's begin. Tip number one, get wooden carving tools. I bought mine from Daiso, it's a Japanese convenience store and it usually comes in a bundle of 4 or 5. There will be different heads and it serves different functions for each carving tool. Today's figure of sacrifice is a Mark Stein figure from his Chelsea days. For the head, I'm using an Erling Harden head made from China. The first step is to remove the unwanted parts of the Mark Stein figure. I'm using a wooden carving tool with a flat head. It may take a bit of arm strength and a lot of patience but eventually you'll be able to get to where you want it to be. I'm using spare arms from a basketball figure and super gluing them in place. The last step of the assembly process is to super glue the head and it's done. Now we can move on to remodeling. Tip number two, please wear gloves when working with epoxy clay. For remodeling, I'm using Milliput. It's a two-part epoxy clay that has a working time of one hour. I am using water and a silicone shaping tool to manipulate the clay. For molding of clay, I like to use a needle-like tool to move back and forth applying different pressures so that I can create the realistic hair texture. For his ponytail, I made 4 teardrop shapes. I added 3 of the teardrop shapes to make the ends of his ponytail. For the man bun, I simply folded the clay in half before attaching it to the head. Then I molded the hair texture. After molding is done, I'll let the clay dry for at least 2 hours before painting. Alright, tip number 3, make your own wet palette. The benefit of using a wet palette is that your paint will not dry so easily. Sometimes my paint will stay moist for at least a few hours. So please, please try it. For painting, I primed the figure in grey and painted his eyes white. Next, I drew his eyelids and painted the flesh area under his eyes.
to complete the eyes, first I dotted it black I will slowly build up the details, adding light blue to the iris until I get my desired outcome After the eye details are done, I'll use a skin tone to cover up the black lines and also the pink parts of his eyes. Now we're ready to paint his kit. We'll paint the red details on his kit before applying the blue paint. I ended up changing the color of blue as I found that it was a bit too dull so I used a lighter shade of sky blue for his kit Next is painting the skin I used a bit of red in the skin tone to highlight certain areas on the face I think it brings out a lot of life in the face rather than one color Alright, now it's time for decals. I'm using a water slide sheet, which means you have to dip your decals into water before applying them. Before we start applying the decals, I would use a liquid called Mr. Mark Softer. What it does is that it creates a sticky surface for the decals to be applied on. After applying Mr. Mark Softer, I would dip my decals into water for roughly around 10 to 20 seconds. After 10 to 20 seconds, I will peel the backing off and apply the decal onto the figure. I will use a brush to get the decals into the desired position before removing excess water with a tissue paper or a paper towel. Before the final reveal, I'd like to take this moment to thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my socials if you like to and comment below. Let me know who's next for next week. So without further ado, here is... Alright, for real Z, here is Harlan. Thank you for watching and supporting this channel, please check my other videos out, please stay safe and I'll see you in the next one, mm, bye.